In the annals of American history, numerous indigenous cultures have woven their vibrant traditions into the nation's heritage. Among these diverse societies, the Timucan Native Americans stand out as a symbol of the Southeast United States' intricate and rich history. In what is now Florida and Georgia, the ancient inhabitants were collectively known as the Timucua, a term encompassing various indigenous tribes. They thrived in this biologically diverse region, crafting a distinctive way of life marked by complex communities, agricultural expertise, and creative expressions. Yet their history also bears the indelible marks of the challenges encountered during the tumultuous era of European contact and colonialism. Jekyll Island, located off the coast of Georgia, played a role in Timucua's history, serving as an indigenous settlement and a center for trade and cultural exchange among native tribes. It also became notable for a secret meeting in 1910, which led to the establishment of the Federal Reserve System, a pivotal moment in the development of central banking in the United States. One fascinating aspect of the Timucua was their distinctive physical attributes, notably their remarkable height. Unlike many other indigenous tribes in the region, the Timucua were known for their extraordinary stature. Some individuals were reported to exceed six feet in height, with accounts even suggesting that certain Timucua reached heights of seven feet or taller. This uncommon height disparity piqued the curiosity of early European explorers, leading to various theories and speculations. The southeastern United States, notably the areas that are now known as Florida and Georgia, is intimately connected to the origins and homeland of the Timucan Native American tribe. The Timucua developed their towns and customs in this rich and varied area, developing a distinct way of life that fit their surroundings. The Timucua lived in a region rich in natural diversity that included what are now the states of Florida and Georgia. Their domain stretched as far north as Georgia and as far south as the Florida Peninsula, from the Atlantic Ocean's coast to the Gulf of Mexico. Due to their large geographic area, the Timucua were able to benefit from the region's varied ecosystems, which in turn had an impact on their farming methods, hunting customs, and social structures. The Timucua lived side by side with other indigenous tribes in this region in the southeast, each with its own distinct customs and traditions. The Calusa, who lived on southwest Florida's coast, were met to the Timucua's south, while they shared boundaries to the north with the Oconee and Appalachee tribes. Due to the ease of commerce and cultural interaction with other native tribes, the area's native civilizations have a rich cultural heritage. For the Timucan Native Americans to survive, agriculture was essential. They were expert gardeners who raised a variety of crops. Their food consisted mostly of maize, corn, beans, and squash. Companion planting is the technique used to interplant these three crops, collectively referred to as the Three Sisters, in the same fields. This ingenious strategy increased crop yields because the corn served as a natural trellis for the beans to climb, and the large leaves of the squash helped control weeds and retain soil moisture. In addition to guaranteeing a varied and nourishing food, this sustainable farming approach also decreased the likelihood of crop failure. The Timucua cultivated their crops using a variety of agricultural methods. To preserve soil fertility, they engaged in shifting cultivation, rotating their fields. To prepare the soil for planting, they also used simple yet efficient instruments like wooden hoes and digging sticks. The timing and location of their planting depended heavily on their understanding of the earth, especially its seasonal cycles. Although growing maize, beans, and squash required a lot of effort, their superior agricultural techniques were crucial to their success in preserving their communities. The Timucua's subsistence strategy included hunting and fishing in addition to cultivation. They were adept bow and arrow hunters, pursuing game species including deer, turkeys, and smaller mammals. Using nets, traps, and fishing lines with hooks made of bone or shell to capture fish and other aquatic animals, the Timucua placed equal importance on fishing. They were able to maintain a consistent supply of protein because of the wide variety of aquatic resources in their region, including rivers, lakes, and coastal waters. Fishing and hunting not only gave diversity to their diet, but also supplied protein. While good game and fish harvests added to their menu, agriculture provided the basis for their meals. 
The Timucua often smoked or dried extra meat and fish for preservation, guaranteeing a consistent food source all year long. The Timucua were able to adapt to their surroundings and develop a healthy and sustainable diet that sustained their communities by combining agriculture, hunting, and fishing. Early in the 16th century, Spanish expeditions headed by men like Juan Ponce de Leon and Hernando de Soto made their way to the southeast United States, marking the first known encounter between the Timucua and European explorers. These interactions resulted in a significant cultural clash. The Timucua may have first regarded the Europeans with a mixture of curiosity and welcome. However, the dynamics of their connection changed as the Spanish attempted to establish a presence in the area and the chase of wealth became more fervent, often resulting in conflict and friction. The creation of missions among the Timucua was a result of the Spanish crown's attempt to exercise authority over the recently discovered regions. Spanish missionaries came with the intention of incorporating the native people into the Spanish colonial system and converting them to Christianity. The missions had a significant influence on the traditional way of life of the Timucua villages, even if some of them accepted certain aspects of Christianity. The Timucua civilization underwent significant changes as a result of forced labor and attempts at religious conversion. The spread of new illnesses against which the Timucua weren't immune was perhaps one of the most disastrous effects of European contact. Smallpox, measles, and influenza all spread quickly across their societies, resulting in horrific epidemics that wiped out large portions of their populations. These illnesses had such terrible consequences that they sometimes killed off whole communities, causing a serious population collapse. Conflicts between the Timucua and the Spanish developed as Spanish interests in the area grew, often as a result of differences over territory, resources, and labor. A large number of Timucua were forced to work, especially in the missions and Spanish colonies where they were required to do labor-intensive jobs like farming and building. The Timucua people experienced severe social upheaval and poverty as a result of these labor practices, as well as the loss of their lands and independence. The Timucua people had a terrible and quick collapse in the 18th century. This indigenous population, who had thrived for generations in the southeast of the United States, encountered a number of difficulties that finally resulted in their annihilation. A number of variables came together to cause this population drop. One of the most damaging causes of the Timucua's downfall was the spread of European illnesses like smallpox, measles, and influenza. The Timucua had no immunity since they had never been exposed to these illnesses, rendering them very vulnerable to epidemics. Illness decimated whole towns, greatly reducing their population. Conflicts and bloodshed came from the presence of European settlers, primarily the Spanish, and their advance into Timucua land. Conflicts over resources, labor, and land became more violent, further reducing the Timucua population. The difficulties that the Timucua experienced were made worse by forced labor practices and the disturbance of their customary way of life. Numerous Timucua were forcefully transferred from their indigenous territories to mission communities as part of Spanish mission activities and colonialism. These moves often caused social structures, traditional ways of life, and community disruption. Their sense of identity as a unique community was further damaged by the loss of autonomy and the imposition of alien cultural and religious standards. The Timucua were to be assimilated into Spanish colonial culture and converted to Christianity via Spanish missions. The degradation of Timucua traditions, languages, and customs was caused by this process of cultural integration. Spanish influences replaced a lot of their native culture's characteristics. The Timucua Native Americans of the Southeast United States had a rich and complex history, marked by their unique culture, agricultural expertise, and interactions with European explorers, primarily the Spanish. One intriguing aspect of Timucua culture is their mysterious earthen mounds. These mounds, which can still be found in parts of Florida and Georgia, are believed to have had various purposes, including ceremonial, burial, and defensive functions. Some of these mounds are quite large, leading to speculation about the existence of giants among the Timucua, 
although such claims lack solid archaeological evidence. Another noteworthy location in Timukua history is Jekyll Island, off the coast of Georgia. This island was inhabited by the Timukua and other indigenous tribes before the arrival of European settlers. It played a role in the complex web of trade and cultural exchange among native tribes in the region, adding to the rich tapestry of their history. That's all for this video. We'll be back soon with a part two for this video, where we'll delve deeper into the history of the Timukua, as well as explore topics like the central banking system and the powers that be. Don't forget to like and share this video. To keep exploring ancient history together, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time!